Hey guys, the new trailer for Bethesda's Starfield has reignited the hype for when Elder Scrolls 6 finally drops. I'm pretty sure we're still going to have to wait at least a few years before we get to see the game in all its glory, let alone have any new information, but I can't help but speculate what we may see in the latest installment of the Elder Scrolls franchise. On one hand, of course we want it to be bigger and better than Skyrim, but what would that even look like? There are so many factors we haven't even taken into consideration, and with such a long wait between games, we deserve a truly special experience. Expectations are incredibly high, I don't think there's been a single game in history with this much hype surrounding it, and Bethesda knows there is a lot to live up to. So that's why today, I wanted to give some of my predictions and hopes for the Elder Scrolls game we have all been dreaming of. I'll start with some pretty reasonable expectations, and then we'll talk about some of my more unrealistic predictions as well. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Elder Scrolls content, and without further ado, let's get into it. When people think of Skyrim, or any Elder Scrolls game for that matter, the first thing that comes to mind is the massive, sprawling world of Tamriel, and its deep and immersive lore. Not only are there hundreds of books to read, rich characters to befriend or destroy, and hundreds of hours of quest lines that flesh out the land and its history, one of the best world-building features in Skyrim is its landmarks. You can gather so much information from exploring abandoned ruins and massive cities that tell tales of past battles and riveting adventure. My biggest and most realistic hope for Elder Scrolls VI would be the ability to explore a brand new land that tells a brand new story. One of my favorite things about Skyrim is how different each individual player's experience is from the next. We could be traveling the same beaten path, but the way we go about discovering what lies ahead should be vastly different. For me, maybe I'll see a broken and battered stone wall, and follow its remains to discover a bandit camp with dark secrets and buried treasure. And maybe on that same road you'll come across a trail of bones leading you straight to a wild beast hidden deep within a cave. Even if we end up in the same location, our stories of how we got there in the first place would be completely our own experience. One of my favorite moments in Skyrim was coming across a seemingly regular hunting cabin in the woods. After passing by this location so many times without ever investigating, I decided it was time to take a deeper look at what's inside. I expected to find a hunter, or maybe it had been long abandoned, but after finding multiple notes around the house, I discovered a secret passageway behind a bookshelf holding a massive dungeon being used as a thieves hideout. Without the context clues or the notes lying around, I wouldn't have ever thought twice about this place but the world building and stories being shown instead of told created a one-of-a-kind experience that I'll never forget. That's exactly the kind of thing that Elder Scrolls VI needs to really shine. And I believe that if it's handled right, open world exploration could be more immersive than ever. Personally, I'm satisfied with the combat in Skyrim, but there is no denying that it's long overdue for an upgrade. At times, combat in the Elder Scrolls can feel pretty linear, especially when we're talking about melee weapons. Most of the time, you can just kinda spam swing your sword over and over and over again, and there aren't too many ways to break free from this combat cycle. I think that the best thing that the Elder Scrolls VI could do for their combat is take notes from other RPG games. In some sense, there is parrying in Skyrim, but I think there could be a lot more work done here. Imagine instead of just blocking attacks, you actually have to knock the opponent's sword out of the way to find an opening. I don't think that they need to go overboard and have a system as in-depth as like Breath of the Wild, but instead a great example that comes to mind is the parrying in Valheim, which is super simple but very effective. All you need to do is raise your shield at the right moment to stun your opponent while you rush in for a finishing blow. I think that combat rolls could be a great addition as well, and I'm just hoping for an overall more satisfying melee experience. When it comes to magic, I would love to see more unique spells in Elder Scrolls VI. In Skyrim, most of the destructive spells are seemingly reskins of each other. Whether you're using Shock, Flame, or Frost, each spell has pretty much the same effect other than targeting specific weaknesses. I'd love to see spells that are completely unique from each other. Maybe instead of a beam of electricity, shock is more unruly and covers more ground. There are tons of different ways when it comes to setting each spell apart from the rest, and I hope to see more options come to Elder Scrolls VI. Now it's time to get a bit more unrealistic. I have said multiple times by now that my favorite part of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt was a minigame called Gwent. 
In The Witcher as a whole, I probably put in over 200 hours, and I wouldn't be surprised if 150 of those were just Gwent. There's something so amazing about going from saving a woman from being burned at the stake to... Ever play Gwent? Of course. Have you crying like a baby by the time I'm through with you? I've been saying it for years, the biggest thing that The Elder Scrolls 6 is missing is minigames. It's the perfect way to take a break from all the action and gamble all of your money away. In Skyrim, buying your first home and a horse to ride is really all you need money for. So I think having some kind of game to play at local inns could be a great way to use your gold after all of that. I would hope for a brand new game created by the devs at Bethesda, but I would still be pretty happy with a Gwent clone regardless. It would also be really cool to compete in games with other characters in the world. Speaking of other characters, why don't we really go off the rails here and add a social system? In Skyrim, there are tons of characters that you can get to know to flesh out the world, whether that be innkeeps telling rumors, or followers who will assist you in battle. Now imagine this, instead of just paying someone to help you fight, what if instead you had to convince them? I'm not just saying you should punch Uthgird the Unbroken a hundred times for her to join you, but what if you actually had to build a relationship with them? Start off as just acquaintances, speak to them often, and then they'll start to like you. There could even be a gifting system that raises a social bar or something. Having a system to get to know your followers could really change the way you play Elder Scrolls. I'm not saying Lydia is boring or anything, but she kind of is. Give these characters more depth, and it will give us more reason to want them around. Don't even get me started with marriage in Skyrim. After the marriage quest, you can literally walk up to anybody single and they'll fall for you instantly. Have them play hard to get. You should be able to work your way up to that point. I think a perfect example would be one of my favorite follower mods, Sophia. Not only is her voice acting actually really funny sometimes, but you have to physically build your relationship with her to unlock more dialogue options and stuff like that. I know this is still pretty unrealistic, but it's a detail like this that would completely change the way we play Elder Scrolls. At the end of the day, our expectations are probably putting a lot of pressure on Bethesda. I think that no matter what we end up getting, it'll probably be great. But with such a long wait between Skyrim and Elder Scrolls 6, the fans deserve a truly one-of-a-kind gaming experience. All that being said, I think it might be best to keep our expectations more reasonable. That way, when Elder Scrolls 6 finally comes, we will truly be blown away. What would make Elder Scrolls 6 a perfect game for you? Are there any ideas you had that could work well in the latest Elder Scrolls game? Make sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments. By the way, we are super close to hitting 5,000 subscribers, and I can't thank you all enough. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing for more Elder Scrolls content in the future. As always, keep gaming to the fullest, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.